And um, Alex, just to reflect on the weekend's game against Bristol City, um, what did you take? What was your take on the performance? Um, yeah, it was good for Al. Um, that's obviously a difficult one to take. Obviously, them scoring a penalty in the ninety-third minute, but what well, that's football. You know, you can wrap that in in games, and it's just the way you bounce back from that. You're now two thirds of the way through the season. Um, what's your kind of take on the team's performance as a whole so far? Yeah, really good. Um, as a collective, it's been um, it's been good. We've obviously had difficult moments where we've had injured players, and we've we've overcome them. Um, and that will be the same for our, for the rest of the season. We just have to overcome situations and, and just keep moving forward. And well, you you never know what can happen. Yeah, it's been <coughs> quite the brand of entertaining football this season from Sunderland. Is that? I'm guessing that's something that really suits you down at the ground as well. Yeah, no, it's been really it's been really good. Um, it's been free flowing football. It's been exciting. Uh, even when you're not playing and you're watching, it's exciting football to watch. And I think that's what that's what fans want to watch. Um, and uh, May long that continue. And for you as well, uh, I know this is a very, very young squad, but the managers mm. wax lyrical about your knowledge <coughs> of the game and, and your talent within the squad. Where does that come from? Does that come down to experience or just you as a player? Uh, a bit of both, really. Um, obviously, I've been in the game for a while now, and I'm just getting on. Uh, um, yeah, I'll be 30 in the summer, mm. so you say probably experience, but um, I think it's just to help people. Especially the younger players, because obviously I had that when I was younger players. Obviously, I know I know players. Obviously, have finished their career now. Helped me. They were massive for me, and um, so it kind of feel like being that kind of player and repay what obviously other people have done for me. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of the kind of complexion of the league table at this moment in time, two thirds of the way through, there's still kind of no ceiling on Sunderland season, but at the mm-hmm. same time, there's still quite a lot of ambition going forward. Yeah, obviously there's no ceiling for Sunderland and anything could happen, but obviously you know in mind there's obviously you know what this championship's like and games can go your way or the other, but look if we keep performing, hopefully we can get more results than than not. So it's it's been a roller coaster of a season really. Um a lot of teams playing each other and there's not one really, there's only probably two teams that have been consistently winning, winning, winning. Um, but you look across the board, you'll go to a midweek game and you'll look on your phone after the game maybe and you see, oh, them, they beat them. It's just, it's a crazy season. Um, but yeah, we, we, we're, we're in with a hunt of it. So it's it's exciting times, I think, for everyone. 75 appearances as well in a Sunderland shirt. It's been quite a journey from uh, League One last season to where we are now. Yeah, um, but it's been fantastic. I've, like as a personal, obviously, where I come come into the into the club um, up to now it's probably been one way traffic is in good things really so obviously I'm happy about that um, and as a collective look we've got a great group in there um, and as a team it's just it's really good I think we've had moments where we've been we've been down and people probably think we're out especially last year and we've battled that from them so it's it's the mentality is really good Rotherham United tomorrow, mm. um, and as you've already just alluded to, it's just another tough test in the Championship, despite oh, the current places in the table. Yeah, look, Rotherham, I've played against Rotherham for, for a number of times over my career, and it's never an easy place to go. Um, we've witnessed that on first hand last year. Uh, I think it was like 5 1, I think we got beat um, at home last year. Um, got away over 1 1. Um, Obviously, this year we, we we obviously beat them earlier on in the season, um, but it's a different test. They're, they're playing for something. They're playing to obviously stay in this league, um, and I've been there, and it's 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 never easy playing someone who's at the bottom or at the top because they're both fighting for their lives. So going to there, whatever brand of football they want to play, we have to be up for it because they are a good team at what they do. And just finally, it's a relatively short trip for those Sunderland fans compared to the other journeys they have to make. This yeah, season. it's incredible. So another sellout crowd there. Yeah, to back you. yeah, no, it's incredible. I think I see something the other day about we had three London games and the the travelling fans have they've been from all since I walked through the door, um, which I have done for a number of years. I guess uh, it's just been fantastic. But obviously, it helps when they've got something to shout about. But even when. We are down and out. It's actually, it's just a, it's incredible atmosphere. It's like a top man, especially at home. It's, I think it would be difficult as coming 
as an opposition player to play in front of that when our titles are up. I think fair, fair credit to, to our fans, they've, they've been amazing.